How many of y'all got peace in y'all lives? The peace of the Lord is my strength. The peace of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one. He's the one. That I can, I can depend, depend on. The peace of the Lord is my strength. The love, the love of the Lord is my strength. The love of the Lord, the love of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one, he's the one that I can, I can depend on. The love of the Lord is my strength. The love, the love of the Lord is my strength. The love of the Lord, the love of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one, he's the one. I can depend on the love of the Lord is my strength. The hope, the hope of the Lord is my strength. How many of y'all got faith on this morning? The hope of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one, he's the one. And I can, I can depend on the hope of the Lord is my strength. The hope, the hope of the Lord is my strength. The hope, the hope of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one, he's the one. And I can, I can depend on the hope of the Lord is my strength. The power, the power of the Lord is my strength. The power, the power of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one, he's the one, that I can, I can depend on the power of the Lord is my strength. The joy, the joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Say he's the one, he's the one, that I can, say he's the one, he's the one, that I can. Say he's the one, he's the one that I can. When I'm going through, say he's the one. When I'm going through, say he's the one. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Thank God for that selection. Our next selection. Again, we ask you to join us. Uh, it's a very popular song, I think, but the reason I like the song is that, you know, we can thank God for what he's done. Uh -huh. And we can thank people for what they've done. Yeah. But praise and worship only belongs to God. Amen. And I thank God for that. And again, he asked you to come in, join us, and help us sing the song. Thank God again. We ask you to help us join in and help us sing the song. Bread of life, sin down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. But you are the living word, say. Bread of life, sin down from glory. Down from glory. Many things, many things you were on earth. A holy king, a carpenter. You are the lips, say it again. Bread of heaven, sin down from glory. Many things. Things you are on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. You are the living awesome ruler, gentile redeemer. God with us, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. You are the awesome ruler, 
awesome redeemer. redeemer. He was God with us, God with us, the living truth. And what a friend we have in you. You are the living awesome ruler. Gentile Redeemer, God with us, God with us, the living truth, and what a friend we have in you. You are the living Jesus, 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 that's what he called you, made your born. Made upon a tree, you died to save humanity. Jesus, 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 that's what we call that's you. What we call you were born in a manger, made born on a tree, you died to save humanity. Jesus, 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 that's what we call you, that's what we call you, made your born, but on a tree, you died and saved you, man, nothing, you are the living word. That's what we that's, that's what, what we call you. you. You were born in a manger. That on a tree you died to save you man. The you are the living Jesus, one. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. Manger born upon a tree. You died to save you, man. Nothing. You are the living One more time. Jesus, Jesus. That's what we call you. Laying the barn that on a tree. You died to save you, man. Nothing. You are the living word. Thank God for that song. He is the living word. Thank God. Thank God. Are we now asked for our announcements? Just to make it. Praise the Lord. Our announcements are as follows. Um, the month of February is nationally known as Black History Month. Let's come together to honor and recognize the contributions and achievements of African Americans throughout history. Um, we would like to encourage everyone to wear the colors red, black, and green throughout, the, throughout this month to symbolize resilience, solidarity, and richness of African heritage. Um, we'd also like to invite everyone um, who can to support the Equal Justice Initiative, which is a great foundation dedicated to fighting racial and economic injustice in the United States. Um, thank you to Shamra for um, providing this information. Minister Janarvis Jeffcoat will be hosting a Black History program. Um, it's going to be held at Selfless Church. Um, it's a Black History Month celebration. It's going to be held Saturday, February 24th. 
um, at 2 p.m. The address is 1215 Calhoun Street. There will be music, spoken word, praise dance, monologues, and free concession. African attire is encouraged but not required. This year's 2024 Women's Conference will be a one-day event held on Saturday, March 2nd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the 80 ECJC Fellowship Hall. Our theme this year is Walking the Narrow Road. All the women are asked to please submit our annual $25 dues as soon as possible but prior to March 1st. When giving your annual contribution, there are two ways to give. You can send it through Cash App at dollar sign 80 ECJC or by an envelope marked 2024 Unity Women's Conference. You may find those envelopes in the back of the church in the vestibule. The Richland County Sheriff's Department is hosting free women's self-defense classes. Anyone who is interested in joining in a group to attend one of these classes, please reach out to Sister Tiffany Myers as soon as possible for more information. Um, we received an invitation um, and it reads as follows. Count it all joy, getting past the squeeze and lying with zest. Women of Faith Lunch. Um, um, it, they're asking for a $7 donation. It says, join us for learning and all things lemon. This will be held March 9th at 1130 at Triumph Church of Jesus Apostolic. Um, the address is 5715 North Main Street in Columbia. Um, all attendees are asked to wear the, um, the color yellow. Also, we have an invitation. Um, you are cordially invited to the 30th, sorry, 30th appreciation service of Elder Eugene Johnson and his wife, Sister Beverly Johnson. It's gonna be held Saturday, March 16th at 4 p.m. in Charlotte, North Carolina at Sacr Sacrifice of Praise Ministry. Um, the address and all the information is on the bulletin board in the back. Also, we have a lot of announcements. <laughs> on March, 30th, ADECJC ECJC will be hosting another clothing giveaway from 10 a.m. To, to 2 p.m. It will be held next door in the portables. Please invite all your family and friends. Shamra Myers will be involved in another gospel stage play called Take Up Your Cross. Um, the ticket prices have now gone up to $30. Um, if you would like to do um, go as a group, you can find um, discounted tickets for that, you can just go onto their website, www.itskbp.com, and you can um, reach out to Shamra for more information on that. We have a save the date flyer for the 20th International Fellowship Conference. Um, it will be held in Virginia Beach, Virginia, from May 2nd to the 4th. Um, all the information on booking is posted on, in, on the church's bulletin board in the vestibule. If you're interested in going, um, please, Put your name. There's a sign-up form on the back, um, and also uh, you can contact Sister Brenda or myself um, to send your name. But we'd like for you to send your name ASAP so that we can um, get a group rate on the reg registration fee. This will not change the hotel fee. This is just I'm um, getting a re reduced rate for the registration fee. Um, there will be a men's retreat um, on July 19th through the 21st. Um, the cost for that is $90 and it includes a two night stay and three cooked meals. The um, whole, the, the, uh, everything, the flyer that you, and everything that you need to know about it is also posted on the bulletin board. <laughs> um, please pray for all who are on the prayer list, which is posted on the bulletin board. Please govern yourselves according to the announcement. We will now take up our offering.
in honor, thanking you for the songs of praises, and thanking you for who you are. And Father, we thank you, praise God, how, how you brought us into the house of the Lord. And Father, we want to lift your name up. We want to worship you in the beauty of holiness, Father. So Father, we pray that you have your way today, Lord. Speak a word to our heart, Lord, and let us receive your word with thanksgiving. We praise your name. We bless your name. Oh, in the precious name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for the offering. We thank you for the time. And Father, we ask you to bless it in a special way, a mighty way, Father. All these praises we give in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Thank God for the offering. Oh, God, that's a part of service we don't talk about much, but it's important just as any other part of service. It's part of your worship. Yeah, man. Our final selection is going to be uh, you've been so faithful. Yeah. Those who know it, please join in and help us. As I look back over my life, yes, I can see how your love is guiding me. Even though I've done wrong, you never left me alone, but you were me. And you kept on blessing the sour call to my mind, therefore I have hope. It's because of your mercies that we are not consumed. Because of your passion for the time and the truth for every morning. Great is our faithfulness. Great is our faithfulness. You've been so faithful. As I look back over my life. Yes, I can see how your love is guiding me. Even though I've done wrong, you never 
left me alone, but you forgave me. And you got one blessing, just I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. It's because of your mercy that we are not consumed. Because I come back as well as night, they are new every morning. Great is our faithfulness. Great is our faithfulness. You've been so faithful. Say you've been, oh, you've been so faithful. Say you've been, you've been, oh, you've been so faithful. Even though sometimes I didn't do what you want me to do. Even though sometimes I didn't say what you want me to say. Yeah. Oh, Lord, oh, 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 you've been so faithful. Say, I can, I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Oh, my mind tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm, strength when I weak and worn. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Oh, for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of storm. Say you've been, you've been, oh Lord, you've been so faithful. Even though sometimes I didn't do what you want me to do. Yes, Lord, you've been so faithful. Even though sometimes I didn't say what you want me to do. Yes, Lord, you've been so faithful. Say you've been, you've been, you've been, oh, oh, you've been so faithful. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Oh, for my tomorrow, peace in the time of storm, strength when the weak and I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you'll set me free. How you made a way out of no way, turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Oh, for my tomorrow, peace in the time of storm. Peace in the week. Say you been. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you been so faithful. Say you been, you been. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you been so faithful. Say you been, you been. Yeah. Oh, you been so faithful. Say you been, you been, you been, oh, you been so faithful. Give God a hand, praise, amen. We thank God. Praise our God. We thank God, amen. amen. I, I wish I knew all those words. 
Amen. I, I wish I knew the words. That was a beautiful selection. Amen. And give the praise team a hand again. Amen. We thank God. <laughs> praise our God. We thank God for all that he has done and all that he is doing. Amen. We're grateful to be here today. Amen. Another day that the Lord hath made. Amen. Y'all should be clapping your hands. Now you're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. You know, you know, I, I, I often, you know, I, I didn't say that for applause, but something that should bring applause. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you, sometimes you don't say stuff for applause, uh, but, but when people hear it, it should start clapping your hands because there are so many people that, that wish they could be here. See, y'all take it for granted, don't you? Many people take it for granted. You know, hey, I, I'm just supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be able to walk on my own two feet. I'm supposed to be able to have a blood pressure of 130 over 80. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed, you know, but sometimes there are many people that wish they could be in your shape, in your position. Amen. So I'm grateful. And when I wake up in the morning, I got to give God some praise because, because it could have been another way. And, and, and too often we take that for granted, amen, we take it for granted, but I don't take it for granted that I'm able, amen, to stand up on my own feet, amen, able to feed myself, able to get out of bed myself, amen, clothe myself, amen, drive myself, amen, but I thank God that it could have been the other way, amen, but we praise God today for, amen, for that, amen, we thank God for those that are here this morning, those that carry not robbery to be in the house of God, amen, we, we're going to go into the word of God that, that we have uh, before us, Amen. I, I ask for a towel, but I really don't want to sweat a lot today. Amen. I really don't want to, to yell or scream. Y'all heard me say that before, right? Amen. But but the word of God today is coming from the book of Ephesians. Amen. Chapter number two. If you stand with us, amen. First, giving honor. We're going to give honor to uh, Pastor, Pastor Silas Myers. Oh, y'all quiet. Praise our God. Amen. That, that, that's another applause moment. Amen. Amen. We, we, we thank God, amen, for his wife, Tiffany. Thank God for Tiffany. Thank God for, for, for my wife, amen, for my wife, Brenda. We praise God, amen, for her as well in Jesus' name. You ain't got to clap for her. She don't care. You ain't got to clap for her. Amen. But, but, but we, we do give God the glory, amen, for, for all that he has done. God's an awesome God. Yes, yes. As I, as I stand here right now, I give God the praise for everything that he's done in my life. I don't get to testify a lot because I, I like to hear other people testify, but, but God is working a work in my life. I tell you, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I, talk, I think I talked a few weeks ago about, about, a, about the new season, the new season. Amen. And, and I, I'm, I'm walking in a new season. Praise our God. And, and I, I want y'all to join me on the new season walk because in the new season walk, amen, you, you, you don't, you're not not bothered by things that once could bother you in, in your new season. Now, we're not talking about new season today, but we're talking in the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, if you get it with me, Ephesians second chapter, verses one, and we're going to read down to verse number five, amen, second, first, uh, Ephesians second chapter, verse number one, we're going to read down to verse number five, and, and it says, and, and you hath he quickened, and you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins where in time past he walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But look at verse 4. It says, but God, who was rich in mercy, for his what? Great love. Mm. His great love, wherewith he loved us. 
even when we were dead in sins, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace are ye saved. Lord, we pray today, God, that you will break into this word to us, God, that we might speak it to your people. God, that you might get the glory in everything that we say, oh God. God, that you might help us to realize, God, that we are delivered people. Ah, God, that you are work, a work, a work in our life. And God, we ought to be grateful. Lord, I pray today, God, that this word be spoken, God, into our ears, God, that might prick down into our hearts, oh God, that we might realize, God, that it could have been another way if it had not been for you. But God, we glorify you, we magnify you, we give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the glory. Speak unto us today, God. We will speak your word. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Let the people of God say amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. We thank God today. Amen. Amen. And yes, I want to talk from the subject, but God. Yeah, but, but, but God. And I really want to take my time and, and, and just talk about this, but God. Because we are, we are people uh, from different paths, all of us. From different paths, we we all came from from different paths to to where we are now in Christ Jesus. Some of us were alcoholics, some were drug addicts, some were fornicators, some were adulterers, some were liars, some were cheaters, backbiters, whispers. Amen. We come from all different walks of sin. We all do. We come from all different walks of sin. Uh, but God, but God, hallelujah, but God made the difference. Praise our God. We, we, we all, we all, we, 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 when, where we are now, we, 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 we enjoy the world. We, we, some people say, well, well, I didn't enjoy the world. I'm just, but yeah, you enjoyed the world. Yeah, yeah, you enjoyed the world. Amen. Being out there and and partying and having what we call a, a good time. Uh, I, I tell people as a part of my testimony, when I wasn't saved, some of my people say, well, I was in a miserable life. I wasn't miserable. You know, you hear people say, well, I was living such a miserable life. I said, well, I, well, I can't speak for you. Can't speak for you, but I wasn't miserable. I was in ignorance. But I wasn't miserable. I had a good time doing the wrong thing. And, and if truth be told, many of us had a good time doing the wrong thing. And, and we, did, we did it well. We lied well. We cheated well. We fornicated well. We committed adultery well. We, we, we did sin really well. But God. Uh, as I think about myself, I, I, I was raised up in the church, as most of us were raised up in the church, the church. Now, I said the church, but the church, the church. I was raised up in the church, and, and, and I went to church on Sundays. I, I, I did, as the young people said, I did the church thing. I did the Sunday school thing. I, I did all of this. But I did not have a relationship with God. And there are many people who are hearing me today, they, they, they do the church thing. As the, I did the church thing, but, but yet they don't have a relationship with God. See, see, you can come to church without having a church relationship with God. But you can be here. You can be here. So, so, so I, I want to talk to tell you about me. I, mean, I, I was not by far a perfect person. I made mistakes. My mom and dad tried to teach me some things that I went away from. They didn't have the whole truth, but, but even the truth that they tried to tell me, I went away from that. Because I wanted to do my own thing. I must say, but God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one morning, one morning, they were going to what he called Fifth Sunday, Sister Mary. Fifth, Fifth Sunday. Y'all remember Fifth Sunday, right? Fifth Sunday when, when the church gets together and, and they all come together at Fifth Sunday. And, 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 but, and I remember I was sitting on the couch. You probably heard me say it before, but I was sitting on the couch and I was watching TV, waiting for the game, the Atlanta Falcons, my brother, to come on and play football. And, and, and my, my father came in the room and he was dressing and then he, he walked through the den and I was still on the couch. And he, 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 said, he said, you ain't got to say, no, I'm going to stay home today. 
Well, stay home today. And, and, and I, I was expecting him to back, come back against me. I, I was expecting him to, to try to say, back to the boy, but no, you're going to try. But, but he didn't say, all he said was, pal, you're slipping. That's all he said. Pal, that's what they call me, pal. Pal, you're slipping. And, and from that moment, even to this day, that, that thing had, I can still hear that voice in my head. And sometimes when I want to do wrong, or sometimes when, when the, or, and the enemy come in and try to make you do wrong, I say, I hear him say, Pear, you're slipping. And it catches me. That's why I want to talk this morning to the people who have been delivered. Mm, my God. See, some people still walking in their sins, and, 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 and they, they don't know, but, but they're still in their sins, and we're trying to get them out of their sins. I want to, I want to tell them God can make a difference in your life. And sometimes we have given up on people. Sometimes we, we look at people, and, and even our children, we look at them, and we say, there is no help. No hope. And as people of God, that should be the last thing we say because if we are in the church and we are saved, you already know that there's hope. Woo. You already know that God is a deliverer. And how can you tell somebody else what God can't do if God did it for you? Then the message should be clear that if God did it for me, then God can do it for you. Oh, my God. Woo, thank you, Jesus. But the word of God says, is, he says in verse number one, and you have he, what? He quickened now. Now he's talking to the church at Ephesus. And he's saying, you have he made alive. Now, now you can't be made alive until you've been dead. So he's talking to people who are physically alive, yet they are spiritually dead. Oh, my God. Do you understand that, 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 that there are actually three types of death? There, there, there are three types of death. There's a spiritual death, and, and then there, there's a physical death, and then there's an eternal death. Now, what is death? We think of death as somebody coming to the funeral and then we see them in a casket and we, we put them in, the, in leaves in our J.P. Harley. We look at that as death, but that is a form of death. That's physical death, but there's also spiritual death. There's also eternal death. But what we're trying to do is find out what death is. Death is a separation. Separation. Now, many people are separated from God. One of the worst kind of death is an eternal death. Because even when you're spiritually dead, there's still a hope for you. Are y'all hearing me? Even though you're, 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 you're spiritually dead, there's still hope. But when you're eternally dead or separated from God, there is no hope. What's it but God? So the word of God said here, he said, and you, have he what? Have he quickened? Have he made alive? How y'all glad you're alive today? I'm glad I'm alive. I'm fed up alive. See, there's a time, there's a time when I was coming to church and I was still dead. Oh, hear me. We can come to the house of God and we can remain dead. Dead in the house. You can hear the man of God preaching and yet you are dead because if you allow that word to penetrate, it will bring life. See, some people come to the house of God and, and, and they're, on, they're on a respirator. They are about to die, Pastor. They struggle to get to the house. That's why I, I'm, I'm now, I'm very particular of how I deal with people who hadn't been to the church in a while. I'm very particular of how I deal with people who are still in sin because some people come to the house of God and they're on a spiritual respirator. And they are coming, trying to get life. And here we are squeezing the oxygen, the oxygen holes from them from getting life. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So that's why when people come to God, they're looking for something. And think about it, you don't know what that person needs. You, you, you know what you have, but you don't know what they need. So you got to approach people differently now to understand, I don't know what you need, but I'm so glad you're here. 
I'm so glad to hear. We don't have to analyze why they've been out. We don't have to analyze what's been going on in their life. Oh, we have to Lord, I Lord, I'm glad you're here because some people are going through something when they're trying to find hope in the church. They say, I can't go, if I can't go nowhere else, at least I can find hope in the church. Woo! Hey, God. That, that, that's got to be something. I've been struggling on my job all week long and, and struggling here, but I want to come and I want to find peace and hope in the church. I want somebody to greet me and don't criticize me in the church. And I hear what I'm saying. And I really didn't intend to go this way, but, but God is saying to us that, that if we want to get people revived, we're going to have to help somebody. Oh my God. When that prostitute walked through that door and we, we judge about what she's got on and we look at her, now we can't help her because now we're saying, I'm holier than thou. I'm better than you. And when you start comparing yourself to somebody else, then you're making a big mistake. I bet you would walk to your house and talk to your wife and say, you're all right, but Lorraine is better. You don't want to compare your wife or your husband to anybody. But I'm telling you, when people coming, they're looking for hope. Oh, my God. See, some of y'all ain't married. You won't stand there yet. I, I, I dare not go home. Tell my wife, you a good cook. But I tell you one thing, Loretta can do it better than you. I might well ring your doorbell, bro. Pastor, you got to have some room for me tonight. They can read, can I come and see you? Because see, the thing about it, we, we don't want to make comparison because all we want to do is try to lift people up. If she can't cook, tell her, I thank you for the meal. Why am I saying that? I'm saying when people come to the house of God, we don't want to judge them. We want to help them. And you have to be quicker than you. You And Paul is reminding them that, that guess what? You might be in the church, but you ain't all that. You might have been staying for 10, 15, 20 years, but you ain't all that. Don't think that because you had the Holy Ghost and, and somebody has come in here and that they don't have what you have and, and now you can look down on them. God is saying, you ain't all that. Because if you were just like what the Bible says, such were some of you. And you had to quicken, and you had to quicken. You had to quicken who were what? Who were dead in trespasses and sin. You might be in the church right now, but there was a time when you were dead. There was a time when God didn't even want to come near you. Because the Bible says, in Isaiah says, he says, your sins have separated you from your God so that he has hidden his face from you and he will not hear. Oh, God. So God is saying to us here that see, you have been quickened who what, were dead in trespasses and sins. You were dead. You, you didn't have a relationship with God. You were spiritually dead. But I'll tell you one thing. You came to Jesus one day and he made a difference in your life. <sighs> no, I'm not perfect. If you're looking for perfection, don't look at me. Are you hearing me? If you're looking for somebody who, who can walk on water, I'm not the one. But there is a man. I heard the brother say, say, come see a man. There is a man. So I'm telling you, we need to start pulling people to Christ. Don't even point them to you. We point them to Christ. Because we can fall down. We make mistakes. So when you come to me, I'm going to tell you, I'm not perfect, but I serve a perfect God. 
You have been quickened who were what? Who were dead in trespasses. And Look what he said. Who were dead? Who were dead? That means you, you used to have no relationship with God, but now you're alive. Where in time past, look at verse 2, where in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world. You did the same thing that they are doing. But you've been delivered. Oh, my God. There's a song that the Jackson Southern Ness used to sing a long time ago. And I'm a quartet man. He said, he said don't look down on a man unless you're picking him up. Because you never know what they're going through. You never know when you might fall. So don't look down on a man unless you're going to pick him up. See, we, 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 we look good. We, we look holy. We, we got to look. You know what? You, you, you people come to the house of God and you could almost learn how to dress. You can learn how to dress and your soul still a mess. Are y'all hearing me? You can learn the you can learn the way of holiness and still be unholy. See, it's not. I know. I, I I understand what you mean by modest apparel. I get that. I get modest apparel, but you can have on the good apparel and still be a mess. Because the good, the good apparel, brother, the good apparel, it don't change the inside. It just make the outside look different. But whether the difference starts on the inside. The Bible says that, that God judges righteous judgment. He does not look on the appearance of man, but he judges righteous judgment. I don't know how I got we over here, but, but the Bible says, where in time past, he walked according to the course of this world, according to what? The prince of the power of the air. We did what the devil wanted us to do. Yeah, hey, God. We did what he wanted. What mean? You know, sometimes we have the bad people. Are you coming to church? Are you coming to church? But how many of you remember when you was in, in the world? They really didn't have to beg you to go to the party. Oh, you might not have want to go. Come on to the party. Come on to the club. They really have to beg your whole lot. But now, you come to church and oh, I might see you there. When they say, I might see you there, they ain't going to be there. For the most part. For the most part. I, 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 I might see. But, but where in time pass, you walk according to the court. I got to hurry up. According to the course of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit. Now, I'm saying that when, when they're in the world, that's a spirit. And some of y'all trying to get the spirit of spanking. You can't spank the spirit. So some of y'all got children who acted up and you spank them. And, and I, you know, I, I did the same thing. But, but what I'm finding out now is that I don't care. You can't talk a spirit away. You can't spank a spirit away. Spirits only move by prayer. Spirits don't care how much you yell at it. Spirits don't care if you raise your voice. Spirits don't care if you get the fly water or the, or the, the electric car. Spirits don't care about that. The only thing that bothers spirit is prayer. Y'all hear me today? Oh, I'm preaching to somebody today, or even myself. But it says here, it says here, oh, we, we, but the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And see, we got the wrong, the wrong idea about spirits. Mm. But God, God makes it. Oh my God, I got a few. I got a few more minutes. My time. Oh my goodness. It says. It says here. Okay, in time past, where in time what time past? Where in time past? You walked according to the course of this world. The course of this world. See, when you in the world, you're gonna act like the world. That's why we got to be delivered. We got to be delivered. Oh, we got to be set free. And see, see, don't come to the don't come to the house of God after you've been delivered and then trying to go back to where you came from. 
Oh, my God. See, that's why you got to be careful even when you look back. Because sometimes you can look back and decide, now I want to go back. Uh, nowadays, Pastor, they got these songs on the radio, on, on TV, you know, these commercials coming out, and they start playing songs that you heard when you were in school. Yeah, yeah, them songs, they start, make, make, start tapping your foot. Yeah, oh, yeah. You mean, maybe, yeah. See what I do? Taking your mind back now. Are y'all hearing me? See, that's why this social media is so dangerous because now people go on social media now, they're trying to find their old boyfriend, their old girlfriend. Or find what, what, what they're doing. What they doing now? And the thing about it now, now you want to reconnect. You better want to reconnect now. But see, I'm thinking about, the thing about it, it's dangerous. That's why when we come to the house of God, we don't need to be looking back. Hey, God. My, my, my. Ooh, goodness gracious. Hey. Uh, we walk according to the course of the world, according to the prince of the power of the air. Uh, the devil, he owned the airwave. He owned the airwave. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience is a spirit. You miss a spirit. You got to pray spirits away. Mm. Think about it. See, the devil knows that the people don't, people don't want to pray. He, 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 he knows that as a, as, a, as a whole, people don't want to pray. He knows that. That's why he gave out, he gave all these spirits, because you know, people won't pray. He, he said, Un unless, unless we pray, the spirits ain't going nowhere. <sighs> so you can call and get your cell phone, you can talk about people and talk about this, talk about that, but unless you start praying, it ain't nothing to change. Are y'all hearing me? Among whom also we had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our faith. We did the same thing they did, but somebody said, but God. Among whom also we had our conversation in time, past. we did the same thing in the lust of the flesh. We were fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. We did everything. We were by nature the children of wrath. Even though we were the same as they were, but God. Oh my, you gotta understand this. Yeah, see, see what we are fussing against. Sometimes we are fussing against the old us. Sometimes we are fussing at the old us. When you are yelling at your children, sometimes you're not even a child. You fussing at the way you used to be. Because see, you don't want them to grow up to be, to do some of the things that you did. So now, now you, you fussing at them. And maybe trying to keep them from doing what you did. <sighs> but if I could talk to my younger me, If I can talk to a young pal, yes, yes. and I can talk to the eighteen-year-old pal, I would tell the eighteen-year-old pal, "You think you're having a good time now, but you wait a few more years. When God comes in and changes your life, you really gonna have a good time." But the eighteen-year-old pal don't want to hear that. Because the eighteen-year-old pair is enjoying doing what he's doing. Are y'all hearing me? But when God comes in and makes a difference in your life, how many of us say, "I thank God for a change"? I'm not where I want to be, but I thank God that I'm not where I used to be. Oh, oh my! This thing is touching me. This is touching me here because I, I, because I, I as they tell me the song, as I look back over my life. Sometimes we look back and we see some stuff. We see where we came from. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you this. See, when, when I was talking to my children, I was seeing the young pale in my children. See, they, they won't listen to me. I said, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I, I, I know where that leads. And see, as parents, you, you, you know where stuff leaves when you're a parent. You, 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 you know, see, because we weren't perfect people. So you leave that alone. I know where that leaves. I know that going to take you. But they didn't want to hear me. So it took a place where they didn't want to be. I said, but God. I'm still praying, y'all. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. It says here, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust. I'm almost done. Lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature, were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. The Bible says we were born in sin and we were shaping in iniquity. We were 
born dead. We were alive, but we were born dead, spiritually dead. Ah. So being born dead, that means we had to make a change. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. Because see, you, the first time you were born, you were actually born dead. You were born with no relationship with God, but he said, he said you must be born again. Nicodemus said, what does that mean? Does that mean that I go back into my mother's womb and be born again? She said, no. So God wants us to repent of all of our sins. If you want to be made new, you got to repent of everything that you've done wrong. You got to get rid of the old man and bring in a new man. Woo. So I said, new man, new man, new man. And now when you're new, when you're changed, now people are looking at you different and now their expectations of you are different because now you're proclaiming to be a new person. Ah, oh, I say, but God. Yeah, verse number three here. Again, and I'm almost done here, but among whom also we, we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh. Whatever the flesh wanted to do, that what we did. Whatever the, the mind wants to do, that what we did. And we were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. But the Bible says in verse number four, but God. Yes, I made some mistakes. Yes, I did some wrong. But I thank God that God came in and made a difference. Oh, oh my God. I thank God that the lying tongue and the cheating tongue and the cursing tongue and the adultery and the fornication, all that stuff is going behind. But God, he made a difference. He made a difference. He made a difference. So he says, but God, who is what? Who is rich in mercy. See, see, God will forgive you of all the stuff you did wrong. See, what man is holding on to what you did? Woo! Oh, my God. I, I, I read somewhere, Pastor, the other day, I read somewhere. He said, he said unforgiveness is, is, is like Drinking rat poison and thinking that the rat is going to die. Unforgiveness is like drinking rat poison and thinking that the rat is going to die. It ain't going to kill the rat, but it might kill you. Woo! Y'all hear me? So, so I'm telling you, we got to save yourself from this unto one generation. When you come into the house of God, it's time to say, I'm walking in the newness of life. All things are behind me. I'm present to walk the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all hear what I'm saying? Plus, he said, but God, who is what? Who is rich in what? He's rich in mercy. Now, that don't mean you're going to take advantage of God. He's he rich in mercy. He rich. He got plenty of mercy. So I keep on messing up. Uh huh. But God, oh, he's rich in mercy. God ain't crazy. The Bible says it this way, that God is not mocked. He said, whatsoever man soweth, that also shall he reap. Oh, no, no. I'm not your God. Eh? That's obvious. But the good part about it, you ain't my God either. <laughs> I hate your God. But the good other side of that, you ain't my God. But that Bible says there is one. There's one God. Woo. And he is the mediator. Oh, he said, he is the mediator. Christ Jesus is the mediator between God and man. He, he's the mediator. That means that, that, that he's our judge. He's our advocate. That when we mess up, 
that when we mess up, eh, we don't have to stay messed up. I heard you say, when we mess up, we don't have to stay messed up. See, sometimes you think that because your child is about to messed up, they got to remain messed up. But God said, no, they can come out the same way you did. The Bible said, any man be in Christ. The prostitute, the fornicator, the adulterer, the liar, the backbiter, the whisperer. God, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things. Yo, this ain't even what I had on my mind to preach this morning. But somebody didn't know this. But God, who's rich in mercy, for his what? His great love, wherewith he loved us. God loves you. I'm saying to those here and those online, it doesn't matter what you have done God loves you. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Oh, I know people come to you and say, well, well, no, you messed up, you're going to hell. You, you messed up, yeah, they're right, but they forget about God. Oh, yeah, if you don't include God in the equation, yes, they're right. That you're young, you are going to hell. But I thank God that God come to make a difference. It boggles my mind when people who have a relationship with God are so happy to go to somebody else and say, you're going to hell. You may not believe it, but there are people who get joy and tell other people, you're going to hell. And they are right. But they forget about God. God make a difference. Oh my God. I would have died in my sins a long time ago, but God. There have been so many car accidents that I could have been in that could have taken us out. So I said, but God. I got so sick, I didn't know what I'm going to make it, but God. I woke up one morning, I didn't feel good, I didn't know how I would get out of the bed, but God. My family turned their backs on me, say I wasn't going to do anything, but God. I haven't been perfect all my life. I made some mistakes. I did some wrong. But God. I love my wife, but I'm glad she's not my God. I'm glad she's not my God. Because sometimes she will see me do something and get mad with me because I did it. But God give me grace. God said, I know you messed up, but I'm here with arms wide. If you know of anybody that's in your family or somebody that, that, you, that you've been talking about, then you know that they're in sin. Don't push them down, but pull them up. I've often said that a drunk man don't need to be told that he's a drunker. A crackhead don't need to be told that he's a crackhead. But what they do need to know is that God is able to forgive them. Oh my God. I could have been in the grave right now, y'all, but God. 
could have been gone right now, but God. Before I, before I got out of high school, somebody had a knife to my neck, was getting ready to kill me. I say, but God. See, I'm standing here now by the mercy of God. Oh, I'm grateful. I remember not in Florida, Brad Bradenton, Bradenton, Florida. Down in Bradenton, Florida, me and another guy fighting over a girl. The guy, the guy pulled a knife out of me, had the knife to my neck, and said, if you see her again, I'll kill you. I wasn't even out of high school then. What are you out of high school? Could have been dead. In my sins. Going to hell. You know, so I'm talking about those three types of death, right? The, 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 the physical death, the spiritual death, and the eternal death. I could have been in my grave going to hell. But somebody said, but God. Stand upon your feet. Stand upon your feet. We thank God. Oh, my God. Hey, God. He rich in mercy. <laughs> I say he rich in mercy. You messed up, but God said, I got pity mercy. Now, now, don't take advantage of me now, but I got pity mercy. The Bible says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? The Bible says, God forbid. I'm trying to use me. But if you sin, John says, you have an advocate. If you mess up, John says, you got an advocate. What's an advocate? An advocate is your lawyer. That's your attorney. That means that when folks don't want to stand with me, God say, when you mess up, I'll stand with you. I, I, I don't want you to die and go to hell. God say, I'll stand with you. But there's one thing that I'm going to require of you. I don't need your money. I don't need your money. But what I need you to do is to repent of what you did wrong. And God said, if you repent of what you did wrong, God said, I'll stand by your side. Lord, we thank you today, God. Thank you for your word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for letting us know, God, that you are the way, the only way. That there is no other way. Lord, we thank you today, God. But God... Oh my God, I thank you. I could have been gone, but God. I could have been caught up, but God. I could have been nothing, but God. I could have been lost, but God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, help us to look at people differently. Help us to look at people differently, God. Help us to draw, oh God. No, not to push away, God, but to draw unto you, God. We say, if I, the Son of Man, be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto you. Help us to be drawers, God. We give you the praise, we give you the honor, we give you the glory, God. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Why don't you scream to the top of your voice, but God. Hallelujah. I say, but God, but God, but God. Come on. Let's give God. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's give God some praise for what he's done for us. Hallelujah. He could have left me out there. 
He could have let me die. But no, I was foolish. I messed up. I did wrong. But God, come on, even thank God for what he's done for you. Hallelujah, come on. Even after you got saved and you messed up. But God, but God, come on. He's not hateful. He don't want to destroy me. But he wants redemption. He wants to save me. He wants you to deliver me. But God, come on. But God, come on, give him praise. But God, but God, but God, but God. Could have been lost, but God. Could have been in my grave, but God. I could have been bed bound, but God. Come on, let's give him praise. It's because of his grace, because of his mercies, that we stand here today. Come on, but God, but God, but God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How many thank for today? How many thank you for his mercies? How many thank God for his grace? How many thank God he extended toward us? And even while we we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. I was on my way to hell. But God I was on my way to a Christless grave. But God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? I said, who wouldn't serve a God like this? Thank you, Jesus. Let us stand. We're about to go. But if you're viewing us, or even if you're in the sanctuary, and you have not repented of your sins, you have the tug of God on your heart. Amen. You feel conviction. That is the Spirit of God reaching out to you. Thank God he doesn't leave us alone, even when we're in our sins. And we'll, we'll baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. And we'll pray with you until you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Reach out to us. Amen. We will baptize you in that great name of Jesus. Amen. Because God is still calling men unto himself. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God one more hand clap of praise. Let's give him one more praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for this time that you've allowed us to come together. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the worship. All that we have heard, oh God, and all that has gone forth today, God. We thank you that you have been in our presence and you're still in our presence, God. We thank you that you are among us right now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray now that you bless your people as we go depart this place, oh God. Let your angels be encountered about us. And we're going to give you glory honor and thanks is in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Let every heart say amen. 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 amen.